So, I've just had either the craziest or the most brilliant idea that I've ever had before. I popped up to Josh and asked him if his parents would let us go on a holiday together, just me and him, and he said, yeah, yeah, sure. So, this weekend, which is literally a day or two away, me and Josh are going away. I don't know how, I don't know where, but we're gonna do it and I'm gonna set myself this goal and set Josh this goal to try and organize it. And I wanna kind of film every step. So I guess this is the first step, the idea and the planning. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing because I've never done anything like this before, especially in such a small time length, but let's do it. Whee! Okay, so like I said, I kind of just spontaneously had the idea. I was just laying on my bed, thinking about things, and thinking of different ways I could improve my life. I sent this message to Josh. Josh, would your parents ever let us go on a weekend holiday, just the two of us? Yeah, man, I think they would. Why would you ask? Let's do it, this weekend. Where then, man? I'm not sure. Let me look. OMG, this is exciting. But mate, I haven't got any money at all. Oh, and like, we kind of just started discussing from there what we would do, how I'd get the money to him, how we'd pay for it, where we'd look like to go, where would be easier. You'll see that, that Josh straight away was up for it. He didn't have any kind of like, uh, uh straight. Yeah, let's do it. And I really appreciate that about Josh because he's so up for things. And I know that he's one of the people in my life that's going to be vital to live in my life to the best that it can be because I know he'll be with me every step of the way so I appreciate that I'll see you after I've started planning okay so after doing quite a lot of research tonight I found what I believe would be the perfect point for me and Josh to both me and go on this spontaneous trip so I live in Tamworth and Josh lives in Bournemouth and almost exactly in the middle of that is a little place called Oxford. It's pretty much an hour and a half away from both of us in car, but neither of us drive. We're both gonna be getting the train and we'll be heading to Oxford Station. I've still yet to look at the prices for that. Hopefully it won't be too expensive. Can't imagine it would be because it's only an hour and a half away. I've also found a place for us to stay. I was originally looking at a place called McDonald Randolph Hotel, which is like an eight star and it's really fancy hotel. But first of all, it was really expensive. And also they didn't really have any, any hotel space for kind of two single men. <laughs> They only had a room for a couple, basically. They had one double bed. So I was like, uh, let's just try looking somewhere else because that was pretty much our first scout. Then we found the Oxford townhouse. They only have two rooms left. The two single beds, which has uh, breakfast included, free internet. So it seemed like a pretty good deal. The price isn't too bad for two people in one night. I think now that everything's confirmed because I... I asked my boss if I can get the day off and Josh has asked his parents if he can go. I think I might buy it now. Yeah, let's do it. Me and Josh are gonna go away to Oxford for a overnight. Right. When? This Sunday. This Sunday? Yeah. And it was planned today. Damn! What are you going to Oxford for? Because we wanted a spontaneous trip. Fair enough. Right, I'll have a good time then. Let us know when you get there. Thank you very much for saying that. See you later. Bye. Bye.